Dear ladies, gentlemen, and mammals, welcome to another episode at Wacker Rush Gaming. We didn't get one aircraft, but we got two aircraft. New aircraft that you're forced to max and a freaking carrier you must max now. From the perspective of this video, I will refer the aircraft carrier as the Gen 4 aircraft. Special thanks to Paul and Cadzilla for the support in making this video possible for me to share with you. We appreciate your help, thank you so much. These sort of features are expensive to buy and difficult to test, so if you enjoy these sort of contents that I make, then please support your favorite gorilla, like the video and smash on the subscribe button to show this gorilla some video on the Gen 3 aircraft, you can check it out on the link above or alternatively you can check it out later using the link in the description below. So the first question many of you have in your mind is what are the benefits of having the Gen 4 aircraft carrier? Well, there are actually zero benefits for the rally joiner. I think we can all agree on one thing. <laughs> well, came out as two things but you get the idea. <laughs> yep, there you go. If you're a rally joiner, you should not be bothered at all to focus on the Gen 4 aircraft because it's purely for the rally leaders. I'm sorry my dear rally leaders, whether you are a small rally leader, a mid rally leader or a max rally leader, you will need to get this feature to stay relevant in the game. With the rally leader activating the Gen 4 aircraft using the talent attack system, brings the benefit of launching a rally or when acting as the garrison commander. The attack amplification when maxed with 6 star carrier is increased to 8.1%. I do not understand the logic of using the Hawkeye targeting system or the 3rd Talon Iron Bastion defense system. There is no benefit for either rally leader or rally joiner. So please for goodness sake never use the 2nd or 3rd Talon when equipping your march with the aircraft carrier. What did he say? I actually don't speak Spanish. Separately, you should know the aircraft carrier will equip yourself with starts from all three aircraft being the Gen 1, Gen 2 or Gen 3 aircraft in your march where the total squadron power starts will be added to your battle starts. So this means just by rallying or attacking solo with the Gen 4 aircraft, it's the same as sending out with any of the other generation aircraft. However, for obvious reasons, the rally damage bonuses would not be activated when you're attacking someone solo. I mean, if you you're able to attack someone solo with that amount of rally damage bonus, it would be super OP and super broke. As a separate side note, you will need to have maxed the generation 1 stinger attacker before you will get access to upgrade the gen 4 aircraft carrier. This if you're a low spender to a mid spender, you should focus on upgrading the gen 3 aircraft because why would you spend any monies on something that is not going to be relevant to you unless you're a rally leader. The stats you can obtain at the low levels for the gen 3 aircraft is pretty decent in comparison to the aircraft or helicopter at higher levels or even the freaking aircraft carrier. In total, these few features would cost someone buying all the bundles more than $5,000 easily to max this latest feature. Oh my god! When I come to the second question that you've been asking is how do I get these components to upgrade the Gen 4 aircraft? Through Paxify, I tell you. Have you heard of Paxify? It's this amazing cool service that lets you buy your bundles at the US dollar prices no matter where you live so you can skip any digital taxes and save your money. On top of that, depending on which country you're from, you can save up to 35% with Paxify. With Paxify special spicy Friday offers, if you put in $2,000 in your Paxify wallet, you'll get even more savings and bonuses. So what are you waiting for? Check out Paxify using the link in the description below and start saving yourself a bucket loads of monies. Thank you to Paxify for sponsoring this video. Sadly, there is only one way for free to play to obtain the specialized steel right now that is through the 777 value slots plus event where you end up getting some free coins exchanging them for the gen 4 aircraft components in the store. I'm not sure what the developers are going to do but for now it seems super premium to obtain. So unless folks within the game start screaming and shouting then only something may be released so watch out for that space. At 
at this stage you can only buy the limited specialized steel bundles which are refreshed daily i would only recommend the 20 dollar bundles for five specialized steel which is effectively four dollar for a piece of specialized steel because the next step up is 50 dollars for 10 specialized steel which seems pretty expensive 50 dollar bundle is the same amount of specialized steel that you get similar on the scam bundle area then as you upgrade the aircraft i noticed every time you progress to the star level there is a special limited offer bundles for 24 hours the most cheapest purchase method available is going to be via the bargain bash where you can get lucky and get more tickets to exchange for the specialized steel yes it's not cheap and not everyone ladies and gentlemen so it will be rewarding for those whom can be more patient my next question to myself will be what's the difference between the aircraft generation 4 versus aircraft gen 3 the gen 4 aircraft provides rally damage meanwhile the gen 3 aircraft provides health and lethality stats the gen 4 aircraft are purely for rally leaders meanwhile the gen 3 aircraft is more versatile the gen 4 aircraft maximum rally attack amplification is 8.1% while the Gen 3 Rally Attack Amplification is lower at 7.5%. However, if you're a Rally Leader, think of it this way. Do you want to attack in your Rally with a squadron of aircraft or just with one single aircraft? So that's a no-brainer, right? Rally Leaders are forced to go for both the Gen 4 and Gen 3 aircraft, which is typical of State of Survival. <laughs> Finally, your last question to me, what is the right upgrade path for the aircraft carrier components? I would prioritize Rally Hunter damage first, then Rally Infantry health, followed by Rally Infantry damage, fourth being Rider Rally damage, and then Rally Rider health, and finally the last one being Rally Hunter health. But don't keep the gap too wide, I would propose you upgrade at a gap of 5 incrementals at all times. As you can imagine, this sort of videos are challenging to make, so do me a favor and smash the likey likey button and click subscribe. Thank you for watching this video, I'll smell you soon for another video, goodbye!